It's been two years since NASA's groundbreaking James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, offered us a stunning and unprecedented view into the vast depths of our universe. We've all heard how this new space telescope is sometimes referred to as a time machine because it has the extraordinary ability to peer into the farthest corners of space, allowing us to gaze back to the early formation of the cosmos. But what if I told you that the JWST's observations have uncovered something about Proxima b that has sent shockwaves through the scientific community? Proxima b is a fascinating exoplanet, discovered in 2016, and it sits comfortably in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri, a star that is just over four light years away from us. This planet, which is about 1.2 times the mass of Earth, had previously been seen as a prime candidate for water and even the possibility of life. But now, thanks to the JWST's capabilities, we're uncovering chilling new details that might just turn everything we thought we knew about Proxima B upside down. Proxima B's location in the habitable zone has made it a prime target for astronomers searching for Earth-like conditions, but things are not as they seem. The star it orbits, Proxima Centauri, is no gentle, life-supporting sun. Instead, it's a red dwarf, notorious for its violent solar flares, which can send powerful bursts of radiation toward its planets. These flares could strip away a planet's atmosphere in a matter of moments, leaving it exposed to the harsh vacuum of space. Imagine living on a planet where the forecast includes deadly bursts of radiation, a nightmare for any would-be colonist. But here's the thing, Proxima B might be hiding even darker secrets beneath its surface. Despite the potential dangers posed by its star, scientists have remained hopeful that the planet's atmosphere, if it has one, could protect it from these deadly radiation storms, creating a buffer that would stabilize surface temperatures and provide a safe refuge for liquid water. This is where things get interesting. There's a real chance that Proxima B could harbor some form of life, provided it has the right conditions. What makes Proxima B even more intriguing is the fact that it is tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet is always facing its star, while the other is perpetually in darkness. The Terminator line, that narrow band between the scorching daylight side and the freezing dark side, is where things get interesting. This narrow strip could be just the right environment to support life, with conditions that could stabilize water in liquid form, think of it as a potential alien oasis. But then came the revelation that has shaken up the scientific world. When the JWST trained its advanced instruments on Proxima B, scientists weren't just hoping to find traces of water vapor or carbon dioxide. They were hunting for something much more elusive, signs of life, clues about the planet's atmosphere, and hints about its surface conditions. What they found, however, was nothing short of mind-boggling. On the dark side of Proxima B, scientists detected a steady, faint glow. This wasn't the flickering light of volcanic activity or auroras. No, this was something eerily consistent with artificial lighting, like city lights shining through the darkness. Imagine that, faint, steady illumination on a planet over four light years away. It could mean we are no longer alone in the universe. But before we jump to conclusions about alien civilizations, it's important to consider the questions this discovery raises. If the glow is artificial, who or what created it? Could it be a thriving alien metropolis or the remnants of a lost civilization? The pattern of the lights suggests intentionality, as they are spread out across large areas, hinting at possible urban planning. Some experts, however, caution that space is full of phenomena we still don't understand, so it's possible this glow could be the result of some natural process we've never encountered. This begs the question, if these lights are signs of alien intelligence, how would we even get there? Proxima B may be close by cosmic standards, only four light years away, but it's still a monumental distance. With our current technology, a trip would take tens of thousands of years. 
That's where projects like Breakthrough Starshot come in. These visionary initiatives aim to send tiny, light-powered spacecraft to the Proxima Centauri system. If successful, these probes could travel at a fraction of the speed of light, potentially reaching Proxima B in just a few decades. Once they arrive, these probes could beam back invaluable data about the planet's surface, atmosphere, and, of course, those strange lights that have everyone talking. But Proxima B isn't the only planet worth watching in this stellar neighborhood. Proxima Centauri's other planets, Proxima C, for instance, could hold even more surprises. We're beginning to realize that this system might be more complex than we first thought, with multiple planets potentially offering diverse conditions for life. Could the entire Proxima Centauri system be a cosmic hotbed of possibility? Only time will tell. Now, let's dive deeper into the potential implications of these mysterious lights. If they are artificial, they point to a civilization with advanced technology capable of generating sustained illumination. What does that tell us about their level of intelligence and resourcefulness? If an alien species can create such consistent light despite the harsh conditions, like intense solar flares and extreme temperatures, they could be far more technologically advanced than we can even imagine. Perhaps they've mastered geothermal energy, built underground cities, or even invented climate-regulating technology. The possibilities are mind-boggling, and they suggest a level of sophistication that's thrilling yet a bit intimidating. Another possibility is that these lights might not belong to an active civilization at all, but rather be the remnants of a lost society. What if the glow we're seeing, is the last echo of a once great civilization that has since disappeared, leaving only traces of its existence behind? This raises haunting questions about what happened to them, did they face challenges they couldn't overcome? Could their fate serve as a warning for humanity, offering a glimpse into the potential dangers of technological advancement? But here's the most chilling thought, what if this civilization still exists, and we are unknowingly on the verge of making contact? We've all seen the sci-fi movies where well-meaning explorers stumble into the territory of a highly advanced alien species. If Proxima B's glow does belong to an alien civilization, how would they react to our presence? Could we establish peaceful communication? Or would we risk triggering a hostile response from beings who have mastered technologies we can't even dream of? The risks are immense. Even if we somehow manage to make contact, the communication process would take years, maybe even decades, given that Proxima B is over four light years away. It would take over four years for a message to reach the planet, and another four years for a response to come back. And that's assuming they even understand our message. If these beings are anything like us, they may not take kindly to uninvited visitors. On the other hand, they could offer solutions to problems like climate change, energy shortages, or even resource scarcity, if they are willing to share their knowledge. But how do we approach them without revealing too much about ourselves? Could revealing Earth's location and vulnerabilities open the door to potential threats? As for Proxima B's extreme environment, it adds another layer of complexity. If a civilization exists there, how do they survive the planet's tidally locked nature? They would need to adapt to life along the Terminator line, where conditions could be just right for life to thrive. Or, perhaps they've developed advanced technologies that regulate temperature extremes, allowing them to survive in this otherwise inhospitable environment. They could even have created underground cities or mastered terraforming technologies that allow them to control their planet's atmosphere and surface conditions. If life does exist on Proxima B, it's likely to be as resilient and resourceful as life on Earth. From deep sea vents to extreme desert landscapes, life on our planet has adapted to some of the harshest environments imaginable. So, who's to say that life on Proxima B wouldn't be just as adaptable and capable of thriving in ways we can't even comprehend? 
In short, the discovery of Proxima B's glow, whether natural or artificial, has opened up a floodgate of possibilities. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us a glimpse into a universe that is far more mysterious and filled with potential than we ever imagined. The questions it raises are not just about Proxima B, but about our place in the cosmos. Could we be on the cusp of discovering that we are not alone? Only time and further exploration will tell. But the story of Proxima B is just the beginning. The universe is full of bizarre and extreme worlds, and with every new discovery, scientists are rewriting the rules of what we thought was possible. From gas giants that rain molten iron to planets where fire and ice coexist in a stunning balance, the exoplanets we're discovering are proof that the cosmos is far stranger and more diverse than we ever dreamed. The James Webb Space Telescope is helping us peel back the layers of the universe, one stunning discovery at a time. And with each new image and finding, we are reminded that the hunt for life beyond Earth is far from over.